What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you are having an amazing day. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Onchain OS Q Beta Developer Preview 3. So this is based on the Android 10 Beta 5, I guess. And it's been quite a while that we are actually getting a beta for the OnePlus 6. Like the newer phones are also getting a lot of stable updates for just the stability reasons. Like OnePlus 7 Pro, a 54,000 rupee phone just shuts down randomly. So that's why I guess OnePlus team is just focusing over there on the newer phones. And then we have a Q Beta right over here. So again, it's based on almost, I guess, the last Android 10 beta cause we would be getting a stable version in the August but if you can see over here this is your home screen and there are quite a lot of changes over here but for example if you just want to use this as a daily driver guys just don't this is just a buggy mess the phone freezes a lot when you connect it to the wi-fi and there are just a hell lot of bugs and the speed is just uh, that's not a oneplus to be honest it takes like a minute to boot then again the app opening times are wow that was pretty fast but it almost takes one to two seconds after like the first boot that you get like literally look at it it like took two seconds to open a messaging app and if you can see over here i have actually enabled the gestures but there is like a complete nav bar right over there so again uh, this rom is a buggy mess so let me just fix that by just rebooting the phone it's been roughly like 40 to 50 seconds it's still booting like this what the hell is this oneplus I guess OnePlus is just running one JSI on all of the phones and calling it just the Q beta for all the phones. Like four phones are right now getting a Q beta and this is the optimization. Like literally it took like almost one and a half minute. So then again, let's just unlock the phone. There is a broad disclaimer that you have actually just rebooted your phone. So put in the pattern and there you go. Now you have triggers for the Google Assistant, which barely actually work. But then again, why is the number still isn't fixed? Like what the hell is going on? So I guess we have to actually just live through it throughout the whole video, I guess. So again, just Android beta program, okay. Going to the left, you have almost all the features that you get on the OnePlus phones. Even the India specific features like this cricket scores. Then again, scrolling down, you have more widgets. I guess not more widgets, just a bit updated icons for it. So again, going through your home screen, pretty much all the stuff is just the same for the apps. Apps aren't updated at all. Your notifications now, if you go over here, you have settings, but you can't actually snooze them right over here because you have to actually just toggle it into the settings separately. So again, done. If you go to the quick settings panel, no new toggles so here just pretty much same like your screen recorder zen mode as before so nothing new over there so going to the apps if you haven't already noticed game space yep it's a complete new game launcher from oneplus now this completely replaces the gaming mode into the utilities this is now a separate app and basically you get your gaming mode right over here you also have the fanatic mode right over here you don't have to just go to the utilities anymore and you can just keep it on then again, you have graphics optimization. How to show notifications? It's completely on block right now because I have some things enabled, which I have just completely broken off just testing this thing. Then again, gestures are much better than before thanks to like Android Q developers, but they are still buggy. Like literally, why do I have a full navbar right now? And then again, going to the settings, nothing much. You have the more info about phonetic mode and stuff. Nothing new on that. So let's just go back, new apps, nothing much. You do get family link because the digital well-being support is just not over here, but you do get parental support, which we'll talk about later on. So let's just go to the settings directly. So again, hopping onto the settings, the theme is almost like bugged. So again, you have screen calibration. It still doesn't work. It's still broken. I mean, the color warmth does actually work over here. Like you can set it to warm, cold, but actual modes of it are just completely broken. Then again, going back, you have ambient display and stuff, which does actually work. If you scroll down, there is no customization right over here. Like, where are my themes? Now, if you go back, you have a complete separate customization tab. Like, literally. This is one of the major changes which is coming to the auction OS. And our GSI lovers will actually love it a lot. So again, you have preset over here. So simple, palette, or deep. This is basically just presets. Or you can just customize it manually so keep it on simple you will get option for tone so for example it's right now on the default which is like the colorful theme so you have light and the dark as before that you get so again on the dark it's just the night mode that you get on the android so keep it on the light or just keep it on the dark so that i can demonstrate more stuff you can go to the buttons you have a very nice effect over here and the font is completely bugged off again you can just set it for anything right over here or just the customization color the hex data input has been now completely removed which no one even cared about so again coming down you have shapes where you can choose between square teardrop rectangle like finally someone is making use of it in android q it's just tucked in into the developer options and no one even cares about it but oh here finally we have options for it which is pretty great then again you have icon pack which was also in the launcher before so again you have google icon pack support right over here so again you can just make it anything which is pretty great but it does actually make some of the stock icons look uglier like look at it look at the chrome icon what the hell is this shit 
So if you go back scrolling up, you have wallpapers, clock style, fingerprint animation and horizon light, which is of no use on the OnePlus 6. But as I told you guys, I guess this is one GSI for almost like four phones. They have actually just kept it right over here. So you can just look at them or just try it on, but they just don't actually work cause we don't have that hardware. So coming back, very nice addition by OnePlus. But if you now scroll down, you have sounds and vibrations. And trust me, there is a haptic feedback for pretty much everything. So OnePlus 7 Pro users will be happy over there. So going to the buttons and gesture, navigation, gestures, there are no OnePlus gestures. And OnePlus has actually put in some, wow, that lag was like horrible. And OnePlus has actually put in some tutorials on how you can just navigate your phone. Yep. So I guess we have to say bye bye to OnePlus gestures, which were one of the best Android gestures, to be honest, following up with the MIUI 10. Then again, coming down to security and lock screen, now you also have face data and fingerprint scanner completely working over here, finally on the last beta. So again, the face data is not that actually fast as you can see, takes a bit a lot of time. Why it's not unlocking? Like literally took like three to four seconds in good lighting. Then again, coming back, privacy permissions, nothing new in that. Accounts, battery, pretty much the same stuff. If you go to the apps and notifications, advanced, oh no, just notifications. If you scroll down, you have allow notifications to them separately. So you can actually now just silent them, which for example, just completely silent them or just not show you on your lock screen. But you can also turn on those snoozing as before, just like in Pi, then coming down, you have parental controls. You don't get digital well-being right over here. So again, this is a Google thing. I haven't actually checked it because I don't have kids. But yeah, you can also just take advantage of it. Then again, coming down to the utilities, you don't have gaming mode right over here, but you do get everything from OnePlus 7, like DC dimming and stuff, which I barely think works. To be honest, nothing changed over here. So again, coming down to the system, advanced, there are a whole lot of things over here, to be honest. So going to the developer options, if you are in dark mode, now you can enable overhead four star, which actually just overrides everything. So if an app is not compatible for dark mode, it will just completely force all the white parts into black. So for example, even in third party apps like Instagram, why it's not black, what the hell? So I guess it's not compatible with OnePlus dark mode, but basically it works like this. But be sure to follow me on Instagram for more updates on it. But that's pretty sad. So let's just go back and just enable deep and try. The phone has just completely froze on me. Like what the hell is happening? Let's just go back now. Oh no, it's still white. So there is no system wide dark theme over here. It's just OnePlus overlays. And lastly about phone section, you have Android version 10. Then again, the security patches over here, July 5, the latest and the greatest. And then you have Google system update, mainline module versions, which I don't have any idea on. Like literally what the hell is this 22 million? How is that a valid way to measure system update? I don't know, but that's pretty much it. Again, the navigation gestures are shit over here, to be honest. Like Google has added some Google assistant shortcuts and stuff, which barely work over here. Like how do you trigger them? They trigger easily on any kind of another phone, but over here, there is just no way to trigger them. Like you can actually just swipe up from any bottom of the screen and it should actually trigger Google Assistant, but I guess it's just completely broken over here. Then again, if you just go to an, any kind of app like Google Play Store and if you want to access the sidebar, now you can tap it right over here or just hold on the side, which barely functions anytime. Like literally it doesn't do anything over here. It barely works. Okay, there you go. Finally worked or you can just go back. So again, the gestures are pretty hideous over here. I hope OnePlus just brings their gestures back. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the latest Auction OS Q beta update for your phone. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to drop a like if it was helpful and see you guys in the next one. Peace.